Hi, how y'all doing today? So I've been doing some research. I wanted to find out about um, organ harvesting, okay? Because like in Canada, when you get a driver's license, you also get a card to donate your organs in case you have an accident or who knows, right? So I asked one simple question. Do you have to be dead to have your organs harvest, harvested? And the answer is, no, the doctors have to do it while you're alive and they can't give you anesthetic. They can give you warf warfin, warfin to thin your blood so they could take your blood too, right? They can harvest everything, your bone marrow, your ribs, your eyeballs, whatever they want. Okay, so doesn't sound very good to me, right? You know, you have to be alive and they don't have to like, ask permission from your relatives or anything. They just said, oh, she died. So yeah, we harvested her organs. We're going to donate them to some rich person. Right? You know, pretty pathetic. Lies upon lies. All right. This is what we deal with in this realm. Also the big non-existent country of Ukraine, right? It's part of the reset. There's no war there. They shoot off uh, celebrate, celebration uh, cannons just for uh, to make it seem like that. And when they do that, you have a bunch of reporters come in and in their army fatigues and everything going, oh no, it's so bad here, blah, 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 right? Okay, well, if it was so bad, why are the heads of governments from all around the world going there? They're a bunch of cowards. They wouldn't go anywhere where there's a war. Neither would movie stars or music stars, right? They're all cowards. They would go there. Come on. They're worth too much. They might get shot, right? So, yeah. What it is, it's a reset, okay? They go around and tell the villagers, people the farmers, people that own lands and nice homes, that, oh, the Russians are coming to get you, right? They might end up, you know, doing whatever to you. And all be better. We'll get an Uber to your house. We'll send an Uber to your house. You just grab what you can and jump in and we'll take you to Poland or to another country. But what these people don't realize is as soon as they leave the country, everything is forfeited. They lose their land. They don't own it anymore. Their bank accounts, they don't own them anymore. Okay? Everything that they left behind, no longer theirs. Right? The bad rich people sell it to new other people that come into the country that want to settle there and become settlements, right? You just move in, grab somebody else's already made farm and hard work. And yeah, you take prestige for ownership and say, oh, see what I have? Oh, I got such a good deal. Whatever, right? You know what I mean? It's pretty pathetic. The, um, the amount of lies that these rich landowners, lords, right, chieftains, and every place has one. Every town, village, city, and square has a chieftain, right? That's who the government works for. They're just their paid actors because the chieftain's a coward, right? Yeah, they wouldn't show their face. So... Oh, well, what do you do with corrupt pieces of shit? I guess we'll find out, won't we? I know there's good people working behind the scenes. I know this is all coming to an end. I really do. When? I'm not sure. But for me, all the signs point to yes. So we are now in the moon phase of, let me see, last, oh no, a waning gibbous. So what that means is it is about receiving. So whatever you've manifested the previous time of the of this month should start coming to you. Or it's already on its way. Or you already got it. Alright. So yeah. Our next one is the last quarter of the moon phase and it starts tomorrow. And as an empath, it's about emotional stuff and how to deal the energy of the world so it's about breathing 
So tomorrow, yeah, things are going to change again. It seems to me every time we have a moon phase change, stuff changes in this realm. So breathe. It'll be about centering ourselves, anxiety maybe, that stuff. Maybe, yeah, we're going to hear stuff that upsets us or the collective of consciousness, the people that are normal are going to start freaking out or having anxiety about who knows what. Probably money and prestige, right? Yeah. When you haven't had prestige in your life, you can see it. It's quite easy, right? Even people that are middle class have prestige in my eyes. All right? They haven't done, gone through what I've gone through at all, and so many more of us. But yeah, enjoy your day. I love you all. Okay? Bye.